Wolf Rooster Reviews, New Glarus Brewing Company, Spotted Cow. New Glarus Spotted Cow is a cask condition ale out of the great state of Wisconsin. Holy crap, Jaren, we've been gone a little while, but I didn't realize we forgot how to pour a beer. Whew! The brewery says you can expect this ale to be fun, fruity, and satisfying. Satisfying, you say? Big words. We'll judge that. We're back here in the Wolfoos Den. We took a little bit of a hiatus, but we're back with review number 21, and today we have New Glarus Brewing's Spotted Cow. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. But back to business, we're gonna be harsh critics. We're gonna be looking at color, clarity, aroma, and most of all, flavor. Let's get right into it. Color-wise, we got that deep yellow, a very, very, very small bit of orange, but I mean, just the littlest bit. It's mostly pretty yellow, uh, and it's just got that, yeah, just a little bit, of, almost like straw color to it. Clarity wise, uh, it's actually a little hazy, a little, bit. Um, a little bit. I guess I don't know the whole background of farmhouse sales. I probably shouldn't say that on camera, but it doesn't <laughs> really have much clarity and I, I expected it to, but uh, it doesn't look bad. It kind of, I, we've always talked about the haziness kind of brings out the color, yeah. which you know, it has a beautiful color. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. All right, let's do let's, aroma. Let's smell it. Mm. Oh yeah, right off the bat, I get a real big hit of sweetness. It's mm. almost like a candy to it. I kind of get a, like a barnyardy hay smell. Yeah. Like, Cause when you described it yeah. with the color like that, I, I immediately thought of that. Yeah, it, it really reminds you of like a, a bale of hay, a little bit like sitting in a barn. In, so, the, best, in the best way in though. A good way. <laughs> I mean, it smells appetizing. Yeah. So hell, let's just jump into it. Skull. Skull. Mm. Very crisp. Very it does crisp. have that farmhousey ale flavor. You get a little bit of that funkiness that we were talking about with the aroma that I call it the barnyardy taste, but it's crisp and uh, finishes well. Yeah, the crispness is really the first thing you notice. Uh, the farmhousey aspect of it, compared to a lot of other farmhouses, this is very muted, but in that same way, it kind of makes this extra chuggable. So you could drink a lot of these. Um, you get just enough hint to give you that flavor without being really overbearing on that farmhouseness. Surprisingly, I don't get m that much sweetness from when no. you smelled it. I, I kind of expected that to kind of go hand in hand. Even when you, after you taste it, you go back in for the smell, you still get that sweetness, but it doesn't really hit you as much in the mouth. Yeah. Well, that being said, what would you rate it? You know what? It's pretty good. I like it. Um, I don't have any complaints on it. I'd give it a 7.3. Okay, and uh, I think I'm actually going to put this at about a 7.2. Yeah, for a final score of... And that's our review. Take it or leave it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Visit us on all our socials, at Wolfoos. And uh, that's it. Drink on, friends. Cheers.